Hey guys, welcome back to the only video on YouTube where by watching this, that embarrassing thing you did in high school will be forgotten by everyone. You know, that really, really embarrassing thing that everyone in the high school knew about that still haunts you to this day? You don't need to worry about it anymore. So TikTok still hasn't been banned yet, so that means we're doing another video on it. Woo! Don't worry, if you're tired of TikTok content, uh, the next video will be on something totally different. But the garden for TikTok is just so ripe for the picking. I can't let that go to waste. With many people facing economic turmoil, I thought, what better content to shine a light on than the TikTok entrepreneur scene? You know the natural progression of the Ty Lopez's of the world? They moved out of the garage Gosh. and onto TikTok. TikTok entrepreneurs seem to fall into two different camps. You have the cutesy, crafty, but actually kind of just void of any practical information type content. And then you have the tough, says it like it is, uh, probably cusses a lot, doesn't wear shoes, that type of content. You know, the boys who went to the Wolf of Wall Street Community College. Uh, they studied at the Dan Blazarian Technical School for excessive living. Now don't worry your pretty little heads because we're going to get into both types of content today. I've picked two prime accounts that kind of summarize both of these groups that I've described. And the first one I want to take a look at is Addison.Jarman. Uh, I feel like she's really, really exemplifies that, that first group I described. So let's see what kind of advice she has for us. Uh, this TikTok is promising $60 an hour for 16 plus. Well, I fall into that demographic. I want money. So let's see what's in store. Okay, Addison, I'm gonna stop you right there. That technically is really raising a hell of a lot of questions. Technically, you don't have to know how to save someone's life if they happen to, I don't know, drown while you're teaching them how to swim. Come on down to my swimming hole. Come on down to my swimming hole. Pay me $30. I'll toss your kid into this pond and teach him to swim. Come on down to my swimming hole. I can huck kids into a pond, no problem. Yeah, they found a dead body here two months ago and yeah, the city did label this sewage runoff as unfit for human swimming. I'm 16 years old. And technically, you don't need a license to teach swimming lessons. Look it up, that's a law. Swimming hole. And surprise, this post is actually just the ad for swimsuits and sweaters. Almost like she's using her young impressionable audience to farm views for brands. Okay, but how about this one? Uh, make $20 an hour for 10 plus year olds. I, sometimes I think about you. I'm gonna be honest here, Addison. I don't wanna go to a party planned by a 10 year old, okay? I just don't. No disrespect to any 10 year olds watching. I just don't wanna go to your party. Okay? I'm sorry. If I'm paying $20 an hour for a party planner, there better be some rad stuff there. Like, I want an ice sculpture of my dog and free dirt bike rides. Who, Addison? Who is going to hire a 10-year-old party planner? Not only do you have to pay the kid $60 to $100 at least, Party planning takes time, okay? You also have to go to the party. I understand the idea of having kids work for their allowances, but if that work involves me taking three to four hours out of my day to go to a social gathering where the primary creative force behind the event has only existed on this earth for 10 years, uh-uh, I'm not going to that. Not going to happen. I don't need a 10 year old to tell me to get a bounce house and enough white claw to drown a horse. I can figure that out on my own. I am really confused though as to who Addison's content is really for. She has a lot of content that's like for teenagers and kids, but then she also has stuff that's like, buy a foreclosed house, become a landlord. I'm barely making it through the sixth grade, Addison. I just want some money to buy Fortnite skins. I'm not trying to become a slum lord. How about eight ways to make six figures? with no degree. I'm sure this TikTok is going to be very clear and detailed in how someone can achieve this. Well, now Selling online courses will net you a million dollars? In what world, Addison? Jake Paul might have been onto something if that's true. I'm starting my own Team 1000. Team 2000. Come learn from me where I'll teach you things and stuff in my online course. I'm honestly losing my mind that she has sell online courses as a million dollar idea, but programming an actual skill people can learn? Well, well that'll only net you 100,000. Why not just say sell stuff? 
One billion dollars. I'm sure some sale has occurred worth one billion dollars at some point in history. When you can be so incredibly vague, there's no rules as to what kind of promises you can make. Oh shit, the secret is out. YouTubers all make one million plus dollars. Every single YouTuber makes that much. Not just a small, tiny minority of YouTubers. No, 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 the vast majority. YouTube actually just mails you a comically large check for a million dollars as soon as you upload your first video. Start your own business, a million dollars. Again, so incredibly vague that it's technically true. But how is this kind of information helpful at all? You know, let's check out another type of TikTok entrepreneur and see if we can still make that fat stack of cash. Let's let's take a peek at Jason Capital. I am Jason Capital. Sorry, one more time. I am Jason Capital. I am Logan Gladier. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Dude's being loud. That's my freaking brand. This dude is like if Hair Gel and Four Loco got a degree in communications. The Comedy Central Road. Now, don't get me wrong. Jason is a smart guy. I mean, he likes books. I like books more than captions and articles because the person who wrote the book, how much time do they have to put into cultivating those thoughts? Years, decades. Yeah, for a lot of times, decades, years. What about a caption? How much time they put into that? 50 minutes now. Has anyone ever in the history of the world said that they like comments more than books? You know what, guys? I like a well-prepared meal. Call me crazy, you know? I like that much better than generic edible food product. I seriously don't see how this man rented a conference room at a Ramada Inn in order to put on a presentation about why he thinks more thought goes into books than the comment section of a TMZ article. People paid to go to this event. People went and worked at a job for probably 40 hours a week in order to have enough money to hear Jason Capital say books better than comment sections. His premise is such a non-argument. Nobody is defending the sanctity of the comment section like it's the Roman pantheon where all the greatest minds meet to discuss philosophy. Can you just make up any fake argument to make yourself seem more logical and reasonable now? You know what? I like not being stabbed. I know some people out there are like, you can't knock it till you try it. Or, come on, live a little. It's just a stabbing. You know, I like to think ahead though on a scale of dying to not dying. And I think, honestly, being stabbed ranks pretty low on that scale. So now, how do those pro-stabbing idiots feel now? Can we talk about how they start as an entrepreneur and then become a pickup artist guru type like Russell Hartley? Or they start as a pickup artist guru type and then become an entrepreneur coach like Jason Capital. Why is there so much overlap between these two gross groups? Like seriously, before Russell Hartley was calling women horses and doing whatever this is. He was making content about how he automated his corporate job to make passive income. And Jason Capital started off as a guy who was writing books on how to pick up girls. I had a book called 77 Ways to Make a Wanna F That was one of my books. I was very PG in my marketing. That was just, that was who I was. There just seems to be an extremely large and incredibly slimy overlap of dudes who are like, take my course and you'll be able to bang one million women. And dudes who are like, take my online course, you'll make a million dollars. Also, he calls himself America's Honest Dating Coach, and then the example he gives is him just telling a lie. I was called America's Honest Dating Coach. They were all very honest and upfront like and blunt techniques. That was our style. I would have clients say things that didn't make any sense to girls, but as long as they said it, confident, good body language, good finality, everything would work. Could you just say an example of that? Yeah, I mean, you could say things like, hi, I'm Jason, I'm celibate. <laughs> because it doesn't matter what you say. Yep, it doesn't matter what you say. Lying is a great way to start a relationship. I'm sure women don't mind being lied to and manipulated on the first interaction you have with them. That's not a problem at all. I was done with dating. I kind of felt like I had, as Brandon Carter says, you beat the game. And I wanted to go into a new market, whether it was making money or personal development. I knew I just wanted to do something different. Dan Kennedy always talks about how like the best thing you can do in any market to really position yourself immediately is write a book and publish it. So I was like, I'm writing this book. It's just insane that this guy views dating, you know, forming a relationship and bond with another human being as just something to conquer. I beat dating. Now I want to get into drop shipping gold chains and shirts that cuss. 
All I've learned so far is that in order to make money, you have to sell something. Either a good or a service. Damn, I feel like I came into this and left with the same amount of knowledge on the topic. I almost feel like I know less now. Well, whatever. Buy my book. I definitely put a lot of thought into this, and it's totally not just a con to make a ton of money. Please buy my book. I just want to say thank you to everyone for sticking around during the uh, summer of inconsistent uploads. I really, truly appreciate you all. It really means a ton. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to like the video. Maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more. Maybe maybe comment below how you made your first million dollars. You know, share the, share the information, spread the knowledge around. Also, I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch more and I have some really fun things planned. We're gonna be doing a Friday family movie night where we watch some cinematic treasure like Ratatouille or uh, Titanic The Legend Goes On. Also just a ton of games that viewers and chat can participate in, you know? Uh, you can check the description for the exact times and a link to my Twitch where you can follow me or if you're feeling super generous, you can subscribe. Make sure to get in the Discord, it's a ton of fun. Uh, my mod team just put on a competition involving beans and merch for my channel. If you'd like to get involved in things like that, get in there. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I really appreciate the support there. And that's going to be it. So until next time, hope you have a great night and I'll catch you later. Woo!